What's going on fellas, it's Cager and I'm back for another video on Smash Ultimate. This time, we'll be taking a look at the Smash Ultimate roster, and how large it will be by the time of the game's release. This video is purely speculation, although I do have some evidence to support the claims I'm going to make. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. Sakurai told us not to expect too many newcomers this time around, but what does that mean? He never gave us an actual number, so all we can do is assume it will be less than each Smash game in the past. Melee received 14 newcomers, Brawl had 18, and Smash 4 had 17, well, 21 if you include DLC fighters. So even though Sakurai told us to expect less, I still think we're going to be getting a decent amount of new characters. I would expect 5 at least, and 10 at the most. Going in the middle and guessing 8 newcomers at the launch of the game will put the roster at 71 characters. However, this is completely disregarding Echo Fighters. The way Sakurai has classified clones this time around makes it so that they do not count towards the game's roster size. That means if you want to count clones, the roster should really be at 74 characters. While this may sound like a lot, it's only going to get even bigger, as we should expect to see more Echo Fighters released leading up to the release of the game. There's already evidence to suggest that Dark Samus, Krom, and Shadow the Hedgehog could be coming to Smash Ultimate as Echo Fighters. And even if they don't, I think it's safe to say that we will have at least three more Echo Fighters revealed before the launch of the game. The reason I believe this is that Sakurai includes Echo Fighters in Smash to satisfy fans without requiring too much extra work to create a completely original character. Since he said there wouldn't be too many new characters this time around, he's likely also adding more Echo Fighters to make up for it. That would put the roster at 77 characters, which sounds like a bit too big, but just wait, it's going to get much larger. I think 77 is a safe number for the final roster of Smash Ultimate when including Echo Fighters, but what about DLC? Smash 4 had some DLC, but it ended in early 2016 in order to focus all development onto Smash Ultimate. We didn't know that at the time, and simply thought Sakurai and the Smash team didn't want to continue creating DLC any longer for Smash 4, but now we know that's not the case. If Smash Ultimate's planning stages weren't started so soon after Smash 4's release, we probably would have gotten to see a lot more Smash 4 DLC. This is why I believe that Smash Ultimate will continue to get new DLC long after its release, possibly for many years. Sakurai did say that this game is meant to last for a long time, so why not help it stay relevant for several years by adding additional content every so often through DLC? I think we're going to be getting at least double the amount of DLC that Smash 4 had, so that means we could be getting up to 14 DLC characters. The only problem with that logic is that half of the Smash 4's DLC characters were previously cut veterans, and since we obviously can't get that this time around, I think we'll get to see several Echo Fighters as DLC instead. 14 still sounds like a lot of characters to be added as DLC though, so perhaps 10 would be a safer number. If we include these Echo Fighters in the roster as separate characters, that would leave us a grand total of 87 characters at the end of Smash Ultimate's DLC cycle. That sounds unbelievable, and it may never get to be that number, but it would be amazing to see and it would for sure make the game last as long as Sakurai wants it to. So there you have it. My prediction for the final roster of Smash Ultimate following DLC is 87 characters including Echo Fighters. This does sound like a ton, but if we include Echo Fighters, we're at 68 characters now, and we'll definitely have some more reveals before the game's launch, as well as future DLC characters to be released post-launch. But what do you guys think? Is 87 characters too much? Did my logic make sense, or am I being a bit too unreasonable? I'd like to hear what you guys have to say, so let me know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out anything on Smash Ultimate in the future. I hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Cager, and I'll see you in the next one.